It was just a simple fact. Hey, get a stick and a string and cord this off and you did it in relationship to astronomy and astrology. So all these things come together and it's important and it makes sense. Necessity is the mother of invention, is it not? Why would some people in Greece or Rome have a need for that information? They wouldn't. But if every year your land floods out, you have a need to know. Okay? It was pointed that Horus entered the earth at the or matrix of the mother of the mouth and thus became the child of Seb. Seb is the name for what? The earth god. Seb is earth. Shu is what? It's like breath or spirit. Air. air. Okay. Earth, air. Shu, Seb. Day, night. Horus, Seb. Okay, 223. On the top it talks about Hor the, in the Eastern Equator, he rose again as Horus of the double force or double feather, later the double crown. That's the symbols we were just talking about a second ago. That pointed hat that the Pope wears, the flat hat. Okay, one was the flat one was the lower Egypt, upper Egypt, I'm sorry. And the pointed one was lower. So they're just the opposite of what you think. When I say upper, I'm talking southern. When I say lower, I'm really talking closer to the Mediterranean because it's going by altitude. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, um, I'm jumping down a couple of paragraphs, but he, you see anything interesting before I jump down a couple of paragraphs? Uh, when the sun set at night, in the autumn season, it sank down below the horizon, swam the abyss, and rose again. They crossed from the equi equinox to equinox from the western. Is that right? Okay, in the sign of Virgo, what does Virgo bring up? The Virgin. Hello. Okay, so this stuff's being born of a virgin. Hey, that was a serious cough drop. I know. <laughs> it controls my oh. Wow. Boy, I just over. broke through whatever's in the We're middle of it. It's serious. It's a uh, Ricola. No. Oh, Put an extra strip. Okay, when you go down, um, go down to the paragraph that says the double power was expressed by duplicating by duplicating the type. In the first place, it was the little suffering son who went down in the underworld to be buried and to transform and rise again. We already went over what that equates to today. The zodiac of Dendra, the sign of the scales. Okay, underline or highlight the word Dendra. Dendra. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. This is a key temple in Egypt. And in the ceiling of this temple is a zodiac. Last paragraph. There's a name on there should ring a bell. Hippocrates? 
who is Hippocrates. That's something to do with medicine, then. Mm -hmm. Like Socrates? Hippocratic Hippocrates, that's right, the Hippocratic Oath. But you can see that's really not his name. You see that? Horus. <clears throat> it's Horus the Younger. And we talked about this a little bit last week. Horus as the young, anytime you see any pictures of Horus with this lock coming down the side of his head, that symbolizes Horus at 12 or as a child. Where do you see that today? Pacific Jews, right? Hello. The Jews today stole your stuff. They walking around with the Horus lock and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So if you should encounter any adult ones with it on, you might want to tell them that this only actually should be worn by 12-year-olds and below. Kind of ironic because don't they become men at 13? Hello. <laughs> yes, sir. But like I said, I mean, the reason these things are important, at least to me, is you see the origin, and then you see how people just took our stuff, put their name, address, and phone number on it, and now we think theirs is authentic, and we have nothing. <clears throat> on 225, um, it's showing um, the portrayal of a uh, story of horse in Mexico. Also, it talks about being in Rome in the chapels. And, which we kind of know that already, that everybody has our stuff. On 226, okay, we only got a few more pages to go. All right. 226. The third paragraph. Somebody read that for me. When the Lord called? Huh? When the Lord called? When you start with when you, the Lord called? Mm -hmm. Or the paragraph above it? No. Oh, yeah. The son was not considered as human. No, that's, third no, that's it. No, that's third one, one. Two. Yeah, that's it. That's the third one. The son. The son was not considered as a human. And his nature, when the solar force was drawn was imaged by at dawn was imaged by the lion face at the flame of the furnace by the fiery serpent Uatai Uatai um, the soul of its life by the hawk the ram or the crocodile until however the elder Horus was depicted as the child in the place of the calf or lamb fish or shoot of papyrus plants which now occurred in the solar cult no human figure was personalized in the mythology of Egypt. Okay. So when they're saying in these different ages, okay. Now, how long is each one of these ages? 2,500 some years. No, 2,500. 26,000. 26,000 plus. Well, I thought that was a, a whole cycle. You're correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. But the 2150, we're just now getting to that. So let's back up to the stellar time for these is 3687. Oh, I know because they added the 12 where it was not 12. Because they only had seven of them. Right. If you divide seven into 25,827, what do you get? Y'all got calculators everywhere. It's gonna be 36 something, 80 something, okay. So for a while, these periods were much longer and they're saying here in three of them, as we know, the son was never imaged as a person. God's son was never imaged as a human, okay. Until? Until now. 
Okay, where you stop that where? The crocodile? To her, the elder horse was depicted as the child in the place of the cat, calf or lamb, fish. That means the age we're in right now. Did the personalization start? Everybody see that? What were you? I'm on 226. The same paragraph you just read that. The bottom oh, half yeah, of the paragraph. The the so they're telling you that where is it? Until we get to the Piscean age, which is when? Now. Hello. It wasn't until recently mm. that homeboy became a person. Hmm. prior to all these other times and we've been through this at least 10 times 250,267 827 that we know of God was never a person but now we got one If you haven't highlighted that in your book, I recommend you highlight it. When the lunar code was first changed into solar, Kanum Ra takes the place of Kanum and Isis in the cult takes the place of Hathor as the mother moon, the reproducer of light in the underworld, the place of conjunction and, and of Rebergat. Rebergat. Hello by the sun god was in the underworld. When she became the woman clothed with the sun at the end of the, at the end of, keep going. It is at times portrayed as a mummy in the underworld and there it was revived by the sun god, the solar, the kum, uh, how do you pronounce that? Fecund fecundation. fecundation of the moon representing the mother, resulting in her bringing forth the child of light, <coughs> <coughs> the crippled deity, who was begotten 